Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I'm excited for this video. It's gonna be a good old favorites video, which I haven't done since I moved to Florida. Um, but I'm excited to do one today. I love favorites videos. Come on, let's get some, let's get comfy. I love favorites videos. I just think they're like old school YouTube. They're fun. It's fun to just like sit down and chat with you all. And I'm excited to do one today. Also, someone above me is banging. I don't know if they're building a piece of furniture or just like taking a broom and pounding it on the floor. I don't know, but it's really freaking annoying and loud. So I'm gonna try to like talk around that and cut out any of that noise. But if you're hearing that, that is why. But anyway, let's get into it. We're gonna go, I'm gonna try to kind of like categorize this, but it's also gonna be a little bit random. So we're gonna start with some, um, let's start with the fashion stuff. First up, this is gonna be no surprise to you guys, but first favorite is this white button up from Amazon. I wear this all the time. It's like a, um linen almost like oh my god i'm falling off i kid you not i just fell off my bed okay i need to like get my composure together okay linen ish white button up it's kind of like a mesclin is that what that's called i think so i love this i wear it all the time will say it shrunk a little bit in the dryer so i do need to well i don't need to i want to get a new one and maybe get a size up um, because this is, yeah, this is a medium, but I wear this as like a super oversized shirt. So I honestly probably could have gone with a large. So I might order another one, but, um, the material of this is super nice. I've worn this as like a bathing suit cover up. I've worn this with like outfits going out. I've worn this in so many different ways. It's so comfy. If I'm wearing like a tank top and I have a meeting or something for work and I don't want like to be so exposed, I'll just like throw this on over whatever I'm wearing. And I just reach for this so much. So definitely love this. It feels really nice and high quality. It doesn't feel like a cheap, you know, Amazon shirt or whatever. And it's just great. They also have a ton of colors. So if you're not into white, they have a ton of other options as well. Next two favorites. I actually haven't even worn these. The tags are still on. I literally just got them yesterday, but I was looking for some like loungy, just comfy shorts to wear around. It's too hot to wear anything but shorts here in Florida right now. So I wanted some Again, just like comfy lawn shorts. So got these at Target. They were um, $12 and I actually got them in a size up. I'm usually like an extra small, small, probably more like small. Um, but I got these in a medium because I wanted them to just be like super comfy. And I also wanted them to be like a tiny bit longer. Um, although honestly, I could go with these being even longer. But anyway, love these. They're like a nice, pretty um, forest type green and they're super comfy. I haven't worn them, as you can tell with the tags, but I also grabbed these ones, which are um, gray. These ones are definitely more of like a thin material, um, whereas these are like sweatpant type material, but both just like super comfy. I've just been into these types of shorts in general, again, just cause it is so hot. So love these. The ones I'm wearing right now, I think were literally $8. And then these ones were 12. So very affordable and they have like a ton of different colors. I honestly might go online to Target and order some more because that's how much I love these. Last fashion-ish type thing are, are these sunglasses. They are from Amazon as well. Typically not a style of sunglasses I would go for. I feel like I'm usually like a Ray-Bans round or like hexagonal type sunglass person, but I wanted some that I could put on my head, like put in my hair and not obviously, you know, have my hair get stuck in the, the little nose pieces. And I've been loving these. I wear them all the time, honestly. I always say I feel like I'm wearing 3D glasses when I wear them just because I feel like they look like 3D glasses, but they've been really nice. They're like affordable, so I wear them in the pool. I'll wear them wherever and I don't really have to worry about them. So love these. I wore them to Disney the other day as well, and they're just like a good affordable pair of sunglasses to have that you know you can kind of like throw around, stick on your head, um, and they're cute. 3D glasses-esque, but cute. Moving into some like beauty-ish type stuff. I'm obsessed with these lip balms. I don't know if I've ever talked about how much I'm obsessed with these. They're the Glossier Balm.com Universal Skin Solves. I use them as like lip balm, but you could probably put them on like any part of you that's dry. And I love them. I got one originally for Christmas in my stocking this past year. And it was like such a random thing. Like they're from Glossier. Please don't watch this part if you have kids around. But I knew the person who filled my stocking doesn't typically shop at Glossier. So it was just a very random gift. Um, and I ended up falling in love with it. So I have one that's in the like scent or flavor coconut. And then for my birthday recently, I got two more. Um, one is in the rose scent or whatever. And then the other one is just the original. So they are just so moisturizing. I wear them all the time. I also think they give your lips a really pretty sheen and I love them. Should I even like tell you what they actually look like or show you? This is what they are, squeezy tube. 
and I love them. I keep them everywhere. I have one in my car. I'm going to put one in my purse and I'll probably keep one at my desk. So I can't get enough of these. Next beauty-ish type thing is this rose hip oil. I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel before. If I have, then sorry for being repetitive, but I love rose hip oil. I don't know if it's rose hip or rose hip seed, but I've seen both. Um, but I will put this on my skin if it's ever feeling dry, if it's ever feeling tight. I used to put it on my skin every single day, actually morning and night, but it was just too much oil in the Florida heat. So I'll probably go back to that like in the winter, maybe once a day. But in Boston, especially when it was dry, I was loving this this past, even just winter. But rosehip oil is really good for like fading acne stars, just evening your skin tone. And obviously it's some oil, so it's very moisturizing. So I love this thing. I got it off Amazon. I've tried different like rosehip oils and personally like they all seem to do the same thing for me so I'm not like this particular one is great it does what it's supposed to do but it's not specifically this brand that I love it's just the oil that I love um, but this one was affordable and it's from Amazon so I can link it. I feel like I'm going through this really fast but next um, product I love is this Elta MD skincare UV effects broad spectrum SPF 44 and it's the tinted one. Now. I know I've talked about the Elta MD tinted SPF before. The one I had before this bottle was a cylindrical tube. I'll pop a picture right here on the screen of what it looks like. And I love that one, it was great. Um, it did have a tint, but the difference between that and this, in my opinion at least, is that tint in this bottle was very um, like minimal and I didn't really see it doing a ton for like evening out my skin tone. Whereas this tin, I wear this as a foundation. It's definitely light coverage. If you have a lot to cover or feel like you have a lot to cover, I don't know um, if this would be like enough coverage for you. It probably wouldn't, just like depending on what you like. But for day to day, it's what I'm wearing today. It looks so natural on my skin and I just think it's really pretty. I will say the tint is geared towards someone who has my skin tone. So if you have like a rich, deep skin tone, I don't know if this tint would be good for you. Um, please let me know because I'm actually curious if you tried it and you have a deeper skin tone. But overall, I really like this. Um, I'm huge on wearing SPF, especially living in Florida. But even before that, I was putting SPF on every day. So if you're looking for a tinted sunscreen, I recommend getting this Elta one but in this packaging because I think it has a higher coverage than the other one and I really like it it's like my fave well hence why it's in this video okay stupid last thing is not really beauty but I'm going to transition into the home stuff in just a minute um but it is this caddy it's from Amazon <laughs> all of this stuff is working from Amazon and I love this thing it's like an acrylic you can hear type caddy it has a handle I stick this in my bathroom drawer and then when I'm getting ready in the morning either I'll take out this whole thing and I'll stick it on my counter or I'll just like pick my products out of the drawer while I'm getting ready but I just love it it's organized everything's in here I have like my brushes my makeup all my like beauty tools I have a washcloth that I use to like wipe my hands on while I'm doing my makeup or like white makeup on q-tips I have everything in this one thing keeps it very organized and um, it's very affordable. So I love that. Although I'm realizing now I have one more favorite. I talked about this when I purchased it recently. So I'll go over this very quickly. This is the way hair oil. It just smells amazing. It makes my hair feel so good. It tames down the frizz in my hair. But honestly, the reason I fell in love with it is just the smell. It smells so good. It's definitely like a florally type scent. So if you don't like that, I would not go for this, um, but it smells just amazing. I did get the trial size because it's it's not like super expensive, but it's not like a $5 hair oil. Um, and honestly, like I don't go through hair oils that fast. So the trial was good to start with, but I love that and it smells so good. All right, I think we got three more things. So first is this from Amazon. Who else is surprised? I love this thing. It's a candle holder. I obviously haven't even put candles in it yet, but I just think it's so fun. It looks different. I have it sitting on top of a book on use of my dresser, and I just think it looks fun. It looks, it doesn't look like something you get off Amazon. To me, it looks as if it's something you'd find in a boutique or something like that, and I do obviously need to get actual candles to put in it, but I just think it's really pretty. It's black. It has like some texture to it, so I just think it's a really nice piece. Um, it's light, but it doesn't feel like it's like cheap. It feels it feels good quality, I guess. What I'm trying to say. I have these two resting over on the windowsill, so I don't get salt and pepper everywhere. But next are these salt and pepper shakers or grinders, I guess I should say. They are acrylic. I guess I just like acrylic. Um, but we were looking for some new grinders. We had some white ones or a white and black set from Amazon, and they just you know they were Amazon. They were cheapy ones. We just wanted to get some new ones 
and I love these as you can tell obviously because they are acrylic you can see through them so you can tell you know when you need to refill it the grinder itself works really well and they feel like nice and high quality and I just think they look really nice like sitting next to our stove um, I know very random favorite but I've just been liking them and last tangible object favorite is my Kindle I just um, got this like two days ago and I actually just started reading my first book yesterday but I'm already like what am I 25% done I think with that book and I just love having all of my books and everything in one place it's so light I got the um, paper white version so it's just like for reading which I like I'm not getting distracted doing other things on it like I said it's so light so you can just like bring it around with you everywhere very travel friendly and I just I love this thing I was so on the fence if I wanted a kindle or not because I didn't know if I'd use it and yes, I've only had it for two days, but I see myself using this all the time. I like can't wait to continue reading later on today. So I have been loving this Kindle and honestly, just like books in general, I've been really enjoying. So that's been a fun thing for me to do that's not on like technology and kind of giving my, well, I guess this is a piece of technology, but you know, not just like scrolling through social media, I guess. So I've been loving this. Last few things, I figured I'd like go over my favorite, um, like TV show and song. Hold on, let me get my phone. Favorite show is gonna come at no surprise, um, and that is Love Island. I love Love Island. Yes, it's cheesy, but it's just like so entertaining. Yusuf and I watched the um, UK version on Hulu, so you have to like wait a few days for episodes to come out. Like it's a little bit delayed from when it actually airs, like in the UK, whatever. Um, but it's just really entertaining. It's fun. We end up laughing a lot, and um, I feel like they have a pretty good not like cast yeah i guess cast this year so it's been very entertaining um the bachelorette also did just start but i haven't watched that so that's i don't know why i even mentioned that my favorite song recently this is like kind of a i don't know a very popular answer i feel like right now but it is um i like you a happier song by post malone and doja cat it's just such like a feel-good song it's just i love listening to it while i'm driving and to be honest, I'm more of a podcast person than a like, music person in the car, as with the past couple years. But this song is definitely one that I like always put on if I am playing music in the car. So that is where I think I will leave this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed just chatting and going over some of my favorite things recently. My SD card is running out of space, so I need to end this very quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Last thing is that I do want to do a Q&A or just like a Q&A portion in an upcoming video. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them in an upcoming video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.